for the record, Kenya Kwanza will not continue the borrowing spree that we have seen that has ballooned, that has ballooned our debt in the last five years alone, close to seven trillion Kenyan shillings has been borrowed. I want to tell the people of Kenya, Kenya Kwanzaa will focus more on investments. Luambia wa Kenya kwamba itakapofika tarehe mosi mwezi Juni bei ya gesi ya mtungi wa kilo sita itapungua kati ya shilingi 300 na 500. Hivi sasa wa Kenya wanasubiri siku tano kutoka sasa. Wanataka kufahamu iwapo mipango yote iko line ikifika tarehe moja mwezi Juni watakapoenda katika maduka haya ya kununua gesi wataipata gesi hii. Sasa wakikisha so, wa Kenya kwamba budget tukipitisha mm. budget tukipitisha kwa kati ya shilingi tutapunguza gharama ya gesi kati ya shilingi yeah. miatatu na miatano kwa mtungi kwanza mtungi wacha wacha gas ile tunapunguza kati ya shilingi miatatu na miatano ni mtungi yenyewe ndio sasa uongeze yes. gas ndani yake lakini mheshimiwa ukiwa 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 uh, samburu na kumbuka vizuri sana ulipotoa tangazo la kwanza tena baadaye katika ukumbi wa mikutano ya kimataifa na akina mama hapa KCC mm. ukutaja masuala ya kwamba lazima mswada wa fedha wa mwaka 2020 na 2023 uh, upite kwanza ulitangaza so, tu waziwazi kwamba utapunguza so, na itakuwa ni hewala kwa so, kila mke uh, also the interventions we have made inflation is now at 9.1 it's on his way down because we are making the right decisions it will not be sorted out in a week or two or one month you know we got ourselves here because of three years of making the wrong decisions but i am promising the country that within the next one year we will have pulled the country from here we will have set ourselves on the trajectory of making sure that we never again buy unga at 240 you know thankfully we have put the brakes on the continued increase of prices <coughs> of of unga and all the other uh, food products at least unga now is averaging around nine, 190 shillings from 230 pesa ya serikali shilingi bilioni hamsini. Na hiyo bilioni hamsini tutawapatia wafanyabiashara kama wewe bila interest without interest bila hiyo interest ambayo umesema. We have factored in several components. We have factored in 4%. 4% will be for the people managing the digital platform, including a call center. If there is a problem, there will be a call center for people to call and uh, get assistance if they are stuck on one of the, or, or one or other issue. So there will be a call center managed by the mobile operators. Uh, there will be of course the management the management of the engines and the and the and the infrastructure to the technology infrastructure there will also be the upgrading of the infrastructure with the time so that uh, we don't have to uh, bother ourselves with managing that platform we have also put a component of uh, 2% just to make sure that if there are any defaulters they do not reduce the, 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 the fund. And then number three, we have put another 2% to make sure that the fund grows. It doesn't get stuck. It, it keeps uh, growing so that it can benefit more people as we go ahead. We have said this product is going to be available at 8% per year. Mimi nataka niwaambie hii mafuta inaongezwa usiku na mchana. Mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya. Kwa hii taxes wanaongeza usiku na mchana. We are going to increase uh, the VAT by 8% for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, because having differential uh, uh, rates 
one at eight percent, others at sixteen percent, poses a problem, an integrity problem. People use it as a loophole to manipulate numbers, you know, uh, uh, VAT in, VAT out. So the advice that uh, my economic team working with Treasury gave was we must eliminate this uh, uh, loophole that people are exploiting, number one. Number two, this 8% uh, that we are, we are adding is, is going to give us about 50 billion shillings.